do another standing twist. And for this one, you're gonna to wanna to have the longest bow staff you have access to. So if you have multiple ones, you can use the six foot or the five foot. So I'll show you with the five footer. And we call this one the Titanic pose. It's perhaps a, gonna be a dated reference, but it's like that uh, scene in the Titanic movie where they're standing on the helm and their chest is open, right? The sea foam in the, in the hair, and kind of a very um, <laughs> picturesque kind of moment. So for this, it's gonna open your chest, the insides of your arms, and you create a, a rotation and a twist through the kidneys. So stand with your feet wide. Take the staff in your right hand. Pick it up and place the base behind the right leg and then over the left ankle so that it, it locks in place. And now the right hand can extend out. And you can see where if you have long arms, that six foot staff might be more helpful because you have the ability to extend all the way. It's important not to hyperextend this elbow. If you are a, a hyper bendy person, you're gonna keep a little bend there and, and keep it engaged. If you don't hyperextend your elbows, you don't need to worry about it too much. Left arm straight up. Give your spine some length. And now rotate to your left, which creates an opening in the right side. So just open and lift the chest. If you've got the space, you can internally rotate your back left hand and bring it down and hold the staff. Although that's not necessary, that's just optional. If you're having any pain in this right elbow, bend it slightly to keep, to keep it safe. You'll still feel the opening, even if it's bent a little. Breathe in that fresh sea air. Opening your heart to your future. creating a sense of freedom in your body. On your exhale, rewind the pose, let your arm come back. And when you find neutrality, pause there and let everything rebalance. Okay, release your staff, keep the wide stance, and now we'll do the same thing on the other side. And take it behind you, behind the left foot, in front of the right ankle. The point I usually aim for is where the thigh meets your butt, right in that back crease there. Although again, you may need to either bring the staff, if it's a shorter staff than your body, to like the elbow, or having that six footer might give you more length. You could lower it down also toward the knee. So anywhere within the knee, and your hip, that angle is gonna be fine. Right hand up, lengthen your spine, now rotate to your right, but pay attention to your left. Revolve your body, little lift of your heart, optional bind if you wanna bring your right hand back to hold the staff or even just around your waist. It allows you to open your right chest a little more. Feel how your breath opens up deeply into the twist, accessing hidden areas. Inhale, getting taller. Exhale, opening a little further. On your next exhale, release your right hand and unwind and rewind back to center. Pause there, take it all in. Full breath. Excellent, release your staff and come back to center.